how did we allow these are foreigners? And you've given a good example with a family you would tell people to keep off. At what point do we allow those foreigners, first and foremost, to land in Kenya? Second, to trust that I'm very sure they must have come for businesses and anything else. If it were Kenyans coming to their homes, that's a different approach. But these were people who would come, maybe be in Nairobi, be in Mombasa, be in Kisumu, travel around, and we are not very sure if we tell them just self quarantine, you know, to quarantine themselves, are we sure that they were to follow? And I think what the chair was asking was there any mechanism, you know, to do a follow up to, to be sure that where they went to and what they were doing, you know, so that they will be able to trust to, to trace them. And secondly, I think just for you to answer, there was just that court order that came that they were supposed to be traced. So have we managed to catch them and where are they? I want to confirm that there was a message from Ministry of Health, that was how it read. And they were sending information to coronavirus, toll free line, there's a 08007213316. Is that your number? That's the number. So I, I just wanted to just do a test and call it now so that we can know whether it's working or not working. So we just, it's here, so don't say it doesn't work, so it's ringing so that we, we if we hear the response, we are here, all of us. Indeed, indeed. So now, if I have try, coronavirus... Try the other one. Uh, okay, that's the first one. So that one, the one I called was 0800 so that's the red one. The other one is, that is the toll-free one. So that's the, the one that all Kenyans received. So the other one is 07? 0732. 32, yes. 353. 353. 535. But that is not toll-free, yeah? This is not toll-free. It's okay. That's the second one. It's not okay. I think we are, we are the people's representative, isn't it? So this is the number are we are they, giving. Are they too busy or uh, people? <laughs> yeah. And we don't have we don't have um, we don't have a coronavirus case yet. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I wanted to report a case of coronavirus. Uh, this is where I'm there. Yeah, for reporting about issues concerning coronavirus. Who am I speaking to? I'm Jackson Jerome. Okay. Now, um, what am I supposed to do? Regarding what? Coronavirus. I feel like I have the symptoms. Like I have the symptoms. That you have having symptoms? Yes. Now, we don't have any coronavirus in the country unless you tell us how you could have... Uh, <laughs> I had trouble and I'm, I'm getting a bit of some fever. No, no. Where, where, which country had you traveled? China. China? Yes. Now, what, what, uh, what time was that? And which part of China were you? I was in Guangzhou. Uh, Guangzhou? Yes, and I'm feeling sick. You're feeling sick? Very sick. Very sick. But the way I hear you, you don't sound to be very sick. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound to be very sick. <laughs> <laughs> so what do I, what can I do? Yes. I am in Moranga. What can I do? You are in Moranga. Yes. Why are you screaming through the airport? Yes, and they told me to go home, and they told me I self quarantine. Yes, they in case, did they tell you in case you can start getting things of what you should do? No, they didn't. That's why I've called this number. Yes. 
because I saw it a number for Ministry of Health. Sure. Yes. Now, what you need to do is, which hospital is nearer to your place? Moranga General Hospital. Okay, just go there uh -huh. and tell them of how you are feeling. Uh -huh. You take the history. Uh -huh. Because it is not necessary that you have the coronavirus. Because around this time, eh, uh -huh. we are getting report of uh, the flu. Okay. And people, uh, they have a lot of flu currently. Okay. So they will take your history. Uh -huh. And in case they suspect it could not be the, the normal one, uh -huh. they just call us immediately and then we will be able to advise them what should happen. Okay. Next. Okay, thank you. Now, do I use Matatu or Boda Boda or what do you advise? Yeah, all right, all right. Well, how, you, how far are you from Muranga General Hospital? I'm in a place called Kamahoa. Kamahoa? Yes. Are you able to get a private, uh, a private, meal, private meal? No. Yeah, why? <laughs> I don't have money. You don't have money, and you have gone to China to get. Uh... <laughs> anyway, <Yeah>. thank you. <laughs> 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 so CSE, one, I think you have employed cartoons, but, but, but number two, if, well, so that is generally, we were testing. So the first one, you know the toll-free line is not working. The toll-free line is actually a test line at the moment, but okay. it, is, it will be activated, and it will not be just be that one. That's in the Faricom line, you'll get an Airtel line and a Telecom line as well. Okay. So I think that was my first question now on how prepared, even if, if I call and you see the way the conversation has gone for a long time, eh? people have been directing me on how to get to Moranga. So, Fine. Me, yes, I... training. I think just training of the people who are responding, just in case we have um, an outbreak or something, just even a scare okay. on the preparedness. 